Hi guys, this is Nuker Afrai and welcome back to my channel once again. Hope you guys are doing very well today. Today we'll be flying the DCS MiG-15 BIS, the MiG-15 Bison version in the DCS timeline. This is a very robust and hardcore aircraft. And what we're going to do is going to we will go to the core start procedure. This is in a beautiful metallic Soviet Air Force livery. So there will be an instructor whose instructions will display on the right side of the screen and we are going to follow it in order to start the aircraft. So let's jump inside the cockpit. Now first we need to connect the ground power. So we'll add the crew to connect the ground power. Then we'll ask the instructor, uh, the ground crew chief, to play as charge. Wheel chocks are placed. Now what we are going to uh, do is close our canopy from here. We are going to press this button, and this is going to slide forward, and the canopy is now locked. Now what we are going to do next is turn on all the buttons generator switch on no master light switch on radio switch on a gk 47b artificial horizon plus d g m k 3 switch on trim master switch on bomb switch on emergency drop switch on arc switch on rv2 switch on S13 gun camera search on ASP3 and gun side search on N37D can switch on NR23 can switch on okay it, so we have completely completed the circuit breaker not now what we're going to do is turn on booster pump switch ignition switch instrument line switch they are hidden over here master fuel pump switch on then we are going to remove the engine uh, startup button cover now what are we going to do is look towards the rpm but before we do so we will have to turn on the oxygen supply valve anti-clockwise okay next what we are going to do is are you wait now what we are going to do is Press and hold the engine start button and look for the RPM over here. So we are going to press and hold this button for 2 or 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. And we have an engine start. And now we are going to press home. Okay, now we are increasing the throttle. Okay, now we are improving the fuel cutoff switch valve. And as soon as the RPM reaches around 3000 feet. We are going to increase the throttle. And we have turned on the power. We have idle power. Okay, now our aircraft is begin to uh, uh, and our engine is in idle position it was very easy to start but very technical now we're going to pull these flaps to the middle so we can increase the flap 
we can have flap authority now what we're going to do is tell the crew chief turn on the battery turn on the altimeter tell the crew chief to remove power and uh, yeah we have to tell the crew chief to remove down electric power then we also have to tell the crew chief to remove the remove the wheel chops also Now, now let's see if we have nose wheel steering. We don't have nose wheel steering. So we'll go to the controls and find nose wheel steering. And let's go to N. Nose light, nose master switch, nose uh, unlock you know. Why don't we have the nose wheel steering? I have to check. Okay, so we have to apply wheel brakes.
have not known was a part. We now have Nose Authority. And we are begin to maneuvering this aircraft. We have to keep tapping on the wheel brakes while we have to press the rudder pad like in the older aircrafts in the World War II aircrafts. But since this aircraft nose wheel steering is in the front wheel so we won't have drag problem okay now we are going to increase its starter so we have airborne we are airborne Our landing here, okay. and we'll have to pull up the flaps as well. And let me just pull, pull up flaps, and we have flaps. So, guys, this was the Coast Guard procedure of the MiG 15 of the Soviet Air Force. It's a very good aircraft, very nice aircraft. On, uh, we'll have to go to the controls, uh, improve the access response as well over here. Couple of seconds. We'll just take a couple of seconds. We have Okay, now we are going to slowly begin maneuvering this aircraft and land it on the runway over here so we'll begin descending this aircraft Let's see what happens. I don't know why this is hanged. Okay, I'm going to train the stick a bit forward. the stick forward and we are about to descend
Let me tell you guys, this aircraft was also in service of Pakistan Air Force and it was a really good aircraft. Just a second. We have introduced flaps. We have flap authority. And we are about to land. And here we have landed this aircraft we still had a bump but it does not matter we have landed this aircraft guys so this was our tutorial for the mig 15 bison and so guys i hope you like this if you like my page do subscribe and look and do remember to uh, come back to my uh, uh, channel and view all the videos thank you very much take care and goodbye